The Executive Council of the Federation has approved that the 450,000 barrels meant for domestic consumption be offered in Naira to Nigerian refineries using the Dangote refinery as pilots. President Bola Tinubu also signed the minimum wage bill into law at the Executive Council meeting. In the same vein, AIT's Mwese Gono also reports that Council said there was no need for the protest as demands by protesters are being addressed by the administration. The Executive Council meeting is holding barely three days to the August 1st, 2024 commencement of planned nationwide protests by aggrieved youths over the cost of living crisis in the country. A rift of decisions seen as a way to ease the pain being felt by Nigerians we are taking during the meeting. This includes President Bola Tinibu signing the new minimum wage bill of 70,000 Naira a month into law and directing the Nigerian National Petroleum Company to supply the Angote with 450,000 barely of crude oil to be refined for local consumption in what can be termed a historic move. The Executive Council also offered other local refineries like Dangote Lifeline as it directed the state oil company to sell crude oil in local currency within transactions, period. Uh, the sales of addressing State House correspondents after the Council meeting, Special Advisor to the President on Revenue, Zaka Dedeji, explained that the move will assure the stability of one price of refined fuel and the dollar naira exchange rate. The pressure on Foreign exchange rates today will be reduced. Today, uh, you may be aware that we spend roughly 30 to 40 percent of our foreign exchange today on importation of PMS uh, that we consume. And in monetary term, monthly, we spend roughly $660 million uh, in this uh, exercise. And if you analyze that, that one will give us $7.92 billion pressure that we have. With this approval today, through FEC, uh, led by Mr. President, this has reduced by minimum of 90%. Because what you have today will be this transaction is now done in our local currency, uh, not only with Dangote Refinery, for all local refineries. Position of the Federal Executive Council. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, has briefing after the council meeting said provisions are being made for Nigerian youth and Nigerians at large, and those hesitating should be patient. It is the view of government that there is really no need for the protest again, because most of those things that the protesters are putting forward are already actually either have been addressed or have been addressed by government. And like we have said repeatedly, this is a listening government. The president has listened to the voices of all those who are planning this protest. Minister of State for Labour and Employment in Kiruka Onye Chiocha told State House Correspondent the government hopes employers of labour will abide by the new wage regime. Well, we saw in the previous past when 30,000 naira was passed and up to now today, to, to up to today the people didn't pay it. So I believe that this one fully renewed hope agenda that uh, people will have to obey this one. The council also made approvals for the Ministry of Works for projects across the country in health sector and the Ministry of Justice. But do these new measures meet at least some of the demands put forward by the organizers of the protest? Senate President Goswin Lapabio believes so and called on those who wish to protest to do so within the ambience of the law. So I want to use this opportunity to call on those who are attempting to foment trouble. That is, if you have a right to protest, it's your fundamental right. This is there in the constitution, but you don't have a right to destabilize the country. The right to protest should not be turned into a right to unleash violence. It's very clear that people who are already, it's already very amorphous, very faceless. So what it means is that people are preparing to loot and go around and do all sorts of things. 
So the government has now played its card. What remains to be seen is how the organizers of the protest will respond. Mwesi Ikono, AIT News, Abuja.